are listening to Weather with Enthusiasm. Saturday night, April 15th, 2023. We have an unbelievable week going on this week. We have an Arctic air mass, a powerful Arctic air mass coming down into the Midwest. Heavy snow. The National Weather Service tells us that winter will be returning this week. And at the same time, we have this clashing with summer. But this podcast is actually a mock podcast. If I, I guess that's the right word. We're going to be doing a podcast on July 1936 in St. Louis this summer. Every time it says the word forecasted, it's actually the reality that was the actual temperature. Just this is uh, being done in a style of a forecast in order to create that passion which only exists amongst forecasters when you go back to climatology that passion doesn't exist so that's what this podcast is going to be we could do just a passionate podcast for this week's weather but uh we have to cover july 1936 so we're going to go back that's where we're going to start and we're starting in st louis but hopefully this is going to be a much larger project to cover the dust bowl years there's just a lack of awareness, so hopefully this should uh, increase people's awareness of what went on during those years. Friday, June 5th, 1936. You are listening to Weather with Enthusiasm. We have something for the third consecutive year, something unbelievable that's taking place here in the Midwest. We have another ridge of high pressure, a heat dome, an unprecedented heat dome as if last year and the year before was not enough. We have another one developing for the third consecutive year. We've had a couple of 90s so far this season. May 1st was the first time 90 degrees occurred here in the St. Louis area for this year, 1936. Another 90 degrees in May 1st. Another 90 degrees occurred June 1st and June 2nd. Nothing spectacular yet, but we have coming up this upcoming week, starting on June 9th, a very major heat wave. But the real heat gets started June 16th. That's when we get the consistent heat with high temperatures forecasted to go in the mid and even upper 90s daily. Could be a chance for thunderstorms by the time you hit June 19th. On Friday, June 19th, temperatures are forecasted to go well into the hundreds. And that's going to be uh, lots of heat developing. We have over the weekend for Saturday, Shabbos, and Sunday, June 20th and the first day of summer, June 21st. Temperatures forecasted to go into the, from the mid-80s to the mid-90s. But that's just a little bit of a ink of a, a little bit of a of an appetizer for what we're in for headed towards the last week of June. Temperatures from June 25th onward going well into the 90s and even hundreds. See, what we have here right now, situated over the Midwest, really starting, we could even go back into May, we have a front that's situated really going from the Midwest all the way to the East Coast. And we have those temperatures, when the front goes to the south of the St. Louis area, the temperatures are in the 60s and 70s. When the front goes to the north of the St. Louis area, we have temperatures in the 80s and 90s. Eight and a half minutes in, we'll start the month of July. Now, this front is towards the last day of the month in May. That front went to the north of St. Louis. We had temperatures went up into the upper 80s, and it started a three-day streak where temperatures were 30 degrees Celsius or higher. That took us all the way through June 2nd, Tuesday, June 2nd, where the high temperature was into the low 90s. We also had a decent amount of humidity with dew points going into the 60s that is the overnight lows are reflective of that with overnight lows in the upper 60s that front then went south of the st louis area drastic drop in temperatures 
for Wednesday and Thursday, even Friday that week. You know, that three-day period, June 3rd through June 5th, its highs were from the mid-70s to the low 80s. The phone went back north from really June 6th. Saturday Shabbos, June 6th onward, temperatures were back at that 30 degrees Celsius or higher for four consecutive days. So according to some people, that would fit the definition of a heat wave. We have temperatures on Saturday, June 6th, went up to 91 degrees. It's approximately 32 degrees Celsius or so. We had temperatures went up to 87 degrees. That's on Sunday, June 7th, 1936. Temperature went up to 89 degrees on Monday, June 8th. And Tuesday, June 9th, we had a temperature of 96 degrees. Now, the front really stuck around due to clouds and perhaps some rain. The temperatures were cooler. The next couple of days were right along the front, maybe just to the south. Temperatures dropped into the 70s, but overnight lows remained decently warm, with overnight lows remaining in the 60s. We took a four-day break from that 90-degree heat, but remember, we're not even in the summer yet. And by June 14th, by Sunday, June 14th, we went again with another heat wave, if you define it as 30 degrees Celsius or higher, as temperatures went up for four consecutive days again of 86 degrees or higher, this time 88 degrees or higher, as Sunday, June 14th, temperature hit 91 degrees, followed by 88, then 96 degrees, 98 degrees, June 18th, 85 degrees. June 19th, 105. June 20th, 97 degrees. And we continue with the 86 degrees, June 21st, with a high of 86 degrees. If the temperature hit 30 degrees Celsius, June 18th, that brings the run of consecutive days of 30 degrees Celsius or higher to eight consecutive days. But summer is just getting started. We take another three-day break again. As the front pushes south of us. But the front moves north of us, along us, by June 25th. That's Thursday, June 25th, 1936 again. Temperatures forecasted to go into the low 90s. It's a dry heat on Thursday, but higher humidity levels come in by Friday, June 26th. Two points going well into the 60s. Highs, that classic St. Louis heat, mid-90s, June 26th, June 27th. That's for Friday and Saturday, and the heat continues Sunday and Monday. In fact, temperatures, it's a drier heat, and as a result of that, we're going to see higher temperatures. Not much in the way for a heat index, but highs for Saturday of 100 degree, uh, Sunday, 100 degrees, June 28th, and Monday, June 29th, 103 degrees, overnight lows low to mid-70s. The final day for June, Tuesday, 88 degrees for the high. And for the first day of July, high of 88, and that's going to be the last time we're going to see a high in the 80s for most of July. We're going to have to wait all the way till July 30th before the high temperature fails to reach 90 degrees. And in fact, many of those days, we're going to see highs in the hundreds. Starting Thursday, July 2nd, highs in the low 90s. Friday, July 3rd, low to mid 90s. That's 91 July 2nd, 93 July 3rd. And by Saturday, for the first Shabbos of July, the 4th of July, high temperatures going into the low hundreds. Not much humidity for the 4th of July. Highs of 101 degrees. Sunday, 102 degrees. Those hundreds continue Monday, Tuesday, low hundreds, 102 and 103 degrees. Highs around 100 degrees Wednesday, July 8th. High was 99 degrees. And then Thursday, Friday, Shabbos, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All those days, consecutive days, highs from the lower to the upper hundreds. Can you believe it? Highs in the lower to upper hundreds with overnight lows from the mid-70s into the mid-80s to read off these temperatures, 103, 103, 103, 104, 106, 108. That's July 14th, 1936. Temperature 108 degrees. Temperature going down, went down into the mid-80s that night, 106 for July 15th, 103 July 16th, 101 July 17th. 
Highs in the 90s from July 18th all the way through July... All the way through July 29th again, but temperatures actually go into the hundreds from the 23rd to the 27th. Very, very hot month in the St. Louis area. This is probably going to remain the hottest month for a long time. To calculate those days with the highs in the hundreds, I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 days, July 1936, St. Louis, Missouri, high temperatures in the hundreds, with the maximum minimum temperature 84 degrees, occurring twice, but one can argue that the year 1901 might have been hotter. Only two days failed to reach 90 degrees that July in the St. Louis area. High temperatures July 1st, 1901 started with a bang, 100 degrees. Temperatures remain mid to upper 90s for the first week of July until you get to July 7th where the high was 85 degrees. We have a high of 101 July 5th. To read off those temperatures, uh, 197, 98, 99, 101, July 6th, 96. July 7th and 8th, highs near 85 degrees. Then July 9th for the remainder of the month, it's in the 90s. High 93, July 10th, 104. July 11th, 104. July 12th, 102. Temperatures go back into the 90s. July 13th, 96 degrees. Oh, looks like we have a third 80 degree day here. July 14th, 89 degrees for the high. July 15th, 97. July 16th, 97 degrees. July 17th, back up to 100. July 18th and 19th, 98 degrees. July 20th, 101. July 21, 106. And then July 22nd and the 24th, 107. The 23rd, 106. The remainder, the 25th through the 31st, highs all in the 90s. 99, 97, 98, 98, 91, 91, 92. Very, very hot month. The coldest temperature that month, 63 degrees. So, one could argue that 1901 might have even been a hotter month in St. Louis, the 1936. Counting up the number of hundreds in 1901. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 11 hundreds in 1901 and 18 hundreds in 1936. 1921 was also a very hot year. Every day hit 90 degrees except for five days in the month of July. But the hottest temperature that month was 98 degrees. Lots of humidity that year. As you could see, the overnight lows remained in the low 80s or mid upper 70s and low 80s, despite the fact temperature for afternoon highs were only in the 90s. But one could argue that 1934 might have even been hotter. July 1934 in St. Louis, all days hit 90 except for four days. And we actually had an enormous amount of hundreds. One day even hit 111 degrees. That's July 24th. We had another day of 110 degrees, July 20th. We had a 108 degree in there as well. 16 days with temperatures in the hundreds. Plenty days with highs in the 90s. So an unbelievable year. That year, just for that July, 16 days with temperatures in the hundreds. July 36th, we saw 18 days. And July... Uh, 1901, I think we saw 11 days. Now, amazingly, the intense heat did not occur in July of 1935. July 1954, all days hit 90 except for five. We have a large streak of hundreds that year. One day even hit 115 degrees, July 14th. 11 days of temperatures in the hundreds. But July 2012, only three days and St. Louis failed to reach 90 degrees. And we have many days in the hundreds. 15 days with temperatures in the hundreds that year. In July, with a maximum of 108 on July 25th. A few hundreds in August as well, and same with June. You've been listening to the podcast Weather with Enthusiasm.
following the winter storm watch in effect from the Omaha, Nebraska National Weather Service. Several additional feet of snow is expected by Monday morning. People were reporting frost quakes. These are earthquake-like tremors. We have a powerhouse typhoon which has developed off in the Pacific Ocean. A big shakaroo to many of you. We have parts of the world that are so hot right now. Temperatures are expected to go into the low 130s. Recorded temperatures during heat bursts have reached well above 104 degrees. It's a rare atmospheric phenomenon. We're going from one extreme to the next extreme. Feet of snow are falling in Japan. Oh my gosh. Weather. Just Google weather with enthusiasm and they're all going to come up. For thunder and for lightning and the rainbow in the sky. For mountains and for oceans or a river running by.